Diving back in on the phones right now. Here is our uh, buddy Tim, a.k.a. Sink and Stanley from Florida. What's going on, Tim? Sink and Stanley here, Eddie, and listen. Hey, have you heard the news? What's that, Tim? You haven't heard the news, have you, Eddie? I haven't, Tim. What's the news? Well, I went down. Ah, fuck, fuck the voice, man. Hey, man, we went down to, <laughs> we went down to Paul's Wentworth Gallery. Art show Saturday. Oh, he did one in, and, over the uh, weekend. Yeah, he did one in Boca. Same time, same place as last year. Yep. And you, you, what sure. was? Wait, was this the same exact place where you talked to Doc out front? Yes, yes, it was same exact place, same time, same date. <laughs> yep, he's he's like clockwork with these things, Eddie. And was yep. Doc there, or you talked to Paul? Doc was there. Check it out. I'll lay it out for you real quick. Me and me and my buddy from the Sink Army, uh, Lieutenant <laughs> Shane, the guy that that uh, got got uh, Blackie to admit he used blacking tracks. Me and him went down together. So um, we go down together, and we went early enough to where we were able to go inside and see everything and take pictures and all that stuff. So. Um, and then again, I interviewed somebody that got kicked out. They were profiling people again, and literally. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, T Tim, Tim, Tim. Let me stop you right there. What gets you kicked out of the Paul Stanley Art Show? What conduct gets you kicked? I know you would probably be kicked out. We'll get to that. But what got, <laughs> what gets you? What gets random people kicked out? What kind of behavior? What What are these people doing? Well. Well, first of all, it, it's on my YouTube channel, the whole video, Sink and Stanley YouTube channel. But um, this gentleman, he went in with the intention of buying, like, multiple $1,000 pieces. One he was looking at, he said, was $10,000. He was going to buy it. But since he was dressed in a Kiss shirt, you know, he didn't look like he looked like an average Joe, they ushered him out. And said, "No, you, you get out of here," and they kicked him out. When the wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, dollars. wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on, I got to stop you. I got to figure this out. So, okay, so I I only went to one of his art shows. It was a long time ago, and probably well over ten years ago. And I know that he yeah. would not engage with people unless they were buying the art and bought a piece and then they could go back behind the rope and all that. And I kind of get that because it's not a meet and greet. It's not a signing. He's there to promote his art, but you're telling me because the yeah. guy didn't look like he had money and look like a fan, they booted him out. Well, here was the thing this, this year it was a little different. Supposedly, supposedly they shut the doors at like, let's say five thirty, right? And nobody else could come in. See, we got there early. We were able to go inside, look around. If we were interested in, in, in anything, they would take our name and we could go back in. This year, it was... Now, hold like, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't mean to keep cutting you off, but I, I'm trying to figure this out. So when you got to go in and kind of do that preview and look at the art and take photos, were you were you were was Paul there or no? Just the art was there. No, 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 no. This was well before... Paul got there, his scheduled it. time. It was, okay. it, he had a time allotted between 6 and 8 p.m. And no got one it. was allowed to go in. They had a cop, at, they had an armed police officer at the front door. And you, no one was allowed in after, after uh, 545. Unless so, you probably had prepaid for some sort of art, right? Unless you had talked to one of the representatives and said you are interested and you're going, you're going to purchase this item. Got but it. But if you didn't, they kicked you out. And apparently, you know, this guy, I don't know, he, he said he was going to buy all this stuff. And they kicked him out. And he was going to buy, like, a bunch of stuff. So, but that's all on my video. And then, anyhow, at the end of the night, I met Paul face to face. <laughs> now wait, how did yep. that happen? Do you you I'm assuming weren't buying art, so you weren't let in when he was there, right? Nope. 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 So what are you doing? Like he you're waiting actually, for him to come out? Yeah. Basically, you know, we're all there's about maybe there's maybe ten to fifteen of us people there. 
standing outside in the mall in the front of the door of the gallery, and the cop was there, right? And Paul, at the end of the thing, it was like 8 o'clock, he came and walked out to the front door, and everybody went nuts. And he came out and waved and took pictures and signed stuff and shook hands. And there I was with my buddy, and my buddy had a Sinkin' Stanley shirt on underneath his jacket. Oof. So I'm sitting there filming the whole thing, video. I'm literally in his face, Eddie. I can see his his 5 o'clock stubble on his face. So we're that close. And... And and my buddy goes, hey, Paul, can I get a picture? And he's like, yeah. And he pulls him into him, and the guy opens his jacket with the Sink and Stanley shirt on. Oh. And I'm videoing this whole thing, Eddie. <laughs> and and then, did he see the shirt? Then, no, he didn't see the shirt. Oh, oh, he saw it now because I tweeted it to him. And I said, thanks for being so nice and gracious and coming out and saying hi to me and my buddy. <laughs> But you didn't reveal yourself to him as you, right? Yes, I did. I'm getting to that. <laughs> so then, I've only, I've so only then, got 40 um, minutes left. So hurry up. <laughs> no, no, no problem. No problem. I'm trying to. I'm trying to talk to. Him. I'm trying to. I'm like. It is oh, fascinating, Paul, hey, though. I, I am. I am fascinated by this. Go ahead. He, he's like, hey, Paul. I'm like, hey, Paul. Hey, Paul. And then Paul bends down to say hi to a little kid. And I was like, ah, shit, I can't, I'm going to let the kid have his moment. And then as soon as Paul got up, he waved and turned around and, and started to walk away. And I was like, no, no. I was like, Paul, Paul, I'm thinking Stanley here, Paul, listen. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> does, does, Tim, does he know you by sight? Does he know who you are? Like, does he, does uh, he know you visually? That I don't know, Eddie, but apparently you think he would because he said he knew everything about me. And 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 who else would wear an Ace Really shirt at a Paul Stanley art show? <laughs> oh, you had an Ace shirt on, so, all right. Hell yeah, I did. <laughs> Ace's album went to number one this weekend, man. <laughs> all right, so, so where does it so is that it or does something happen here? That that's really it. He totally ignored me, Eddie. Once he heard, oh, so he me, just blew you he just off. Kept walking, huh? Oh yeah, he, he just, just blew he, you it's off. It's all on video. You can you can see it all on video. It's hilarious. It's a hilarious video, and there's more to it. But and what about Doc? Out, did you talk, did you talk to Doc? That's the funniest thing you asked that because Doc was there. I took pictures of Doc. He was there, maybe um, the first 15 minutes he actually drove up with paul in the car because we were outside when they arrived and we went back inside and about maybe 15 20 minutes later doc was inside the gallery on his phone but he did not come out this time nope he would mm -hmm. not come out in the mall and he was gone we didn't see him the rest of the night after that but he was there. i got it he was there and paul had one other handler with him i don't know who it was at first, I thought I literally thought it was Tommy. It looked like Tommy with cut hair or Keith LaRue, but it wasn't. I don't know who the guy was. How many people would uh, you yep. say, when so when the actual purchasing of the art, the people that were actually let in to, to buy art, that bought art, how many people would you say, did you see how many people were actually in there that actually bought art? Eddie, there was like half. A quarter of the people that were there last year, th there was not a huge turnout. I would say, I would say, if he had twenty people in there, he was lucky. Yeah, and but if he's selling that stuff we at ten grand to, a pop, that's two hundred grand. That's not bad. Oh no, it's not bad. But I'll tell you what, Eddie, we were able to go inside, and we were able to go into the room where he actually signed stuff. He only had two guitars there for that were already sold. They literally had sold labels on them. Only two guitar cases, March sold. And I probably only seen them sell maybe about, I only seen like five or six other paintings getting taken down and sold. So, but still, that's a good night for him, you know, at the All place. right, Tim. I got to roll. I'll look at the video. Yeah. Thanks for calling oh, me. Yeah. All right, Eddie, take care. See you, buddy. Bye. <laughs> you don't know that guy's backstory. It's crazy. He, he,
calls himself Sinkin' Stanley. His name is Tim. He is um, he has started something that called the Sink Army, and he is uh, the mission of that 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 particular group. Though I I don't necessarily agree with all their tactics in doing it, but they are vehemently against the use of bands lip syncing and using tracks. And uh, he, as he said, his lieutenant or whatever it was, went to a meet and greet and got Blackie Lawless to admit to it. And he got Doc McGee to admit to to kiss to Paul doing it at this exact art gallery a couple of years ago on video. I don't know if how, you know, I don't know what Doc was thinking that he just fessed up to it, but I can't imagine that was a good ride home for, from <laughs> from Paul Stanley talking to his manager that day. But, uh, you know, that guy, Tim and Paul have had, uh, you know, some serious battles. Uh, and here he is again, going to apparently an art thing in Boca in Florida this past weekend. But I'm not surprised that, uh, the art gallery and Paul Stanley have changed the way they're doing this where that you're only going to get in and really see him and have an audience with him if you're buying art. And as I said, I don't have a problem with that. I understand that because, uh, you know, you're, you can't, you can't obviously make it a meet and greet. You can't meet and greet with every single person. It'll turn into a whole different thing. Then you've got to govern it somehow. If you're trying to show your art and sell your art, that only people that are buying the art and seriously interested in the art, are going to actually get in there and get an audience. I understand that, actually. No problem with that. Because otherwise, it just turns into a fan fest, and that's not what you're doing, and that's not what it's there for. There's going to be an element of that, no matter what, as you just heard. You just heard from one of those elements. (laughs) But look, Paul's not stupid. He had to know and have an eye out for that guy, especially after the last thing with Doc. And the other thing is, he knows the guy lives in Florida, so I'm sure, you know, he's already got certain people flagged in certain areas to keep an eye open for. Even though I would never personally do anything like what Tim just did, I have no I have no interest in, like, you know, anything like that in terms of uh, you're trying to be a problem for somebody. I would never do that. I'm sure I've probably been on some flagged lists. With him without even knowing it. Uh, 844-686-5863.